Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon. We are going to talk about one today that I often think about, and it often changes. Don't let me lie to you. I'm gonna have this, by the time I make this video and by the time this video comes out, my mind could have changed three times. <laughs> I'm gonna go with what I think right now. And it's gonna be, if I could only have one rifle caliber, chambering, cartridge, whatever you wanna call it, and one handgun round, cartridge, chambering, caliber, whatever you wanna call it. Caliber's the diameter, so we're gonna go with cartridge. If I could only have one. When it comes to rifles, that's a toughie because I'm gonna want something that's gonna be fairly light recoiling because I'm gonna to want to be able to have a personal defense type rifle that can do not only personal defense, life and liberty type cartridge, but also be able to put into service of taking medium sized game, light tail game. So when I look at it in that manner, there's a couple cartridges that kind of stick out to me. One, 7.62 by 3.9. That's well, well known to be a military rifle cartridge. So for anti-personnel, it's got that covered. It's also capable of taking up to white tail, large white tail game. So that is definitely a possibility. Another one that sticks out to me is going to be the 6.5 Grendel. Because it's basically a 7.62 by 3.9 with a small rifle primer neck down to a 6.5 bullet. So the, the, we're not far off from each other in these two. And the next one is going to be 308. Now that one is going to be on the more heavy recoil side, but you are going to get more terminal performance. And honestly, between those three, any more, the cost of ammo is really not that much different anymore, especially with the 7.62 by 3.9, all the Wolf and Tola steel case stuff drying up. If you're buying brass ammo, brass cased ammo, comparing the three, they're not far off from each other. The Grendel's probably the most expensive of the three, but they're really not that far off. And if you're reloading for them, the Grendel is the only one that takes small rifle primers, which are typically cheaper and easier to find, especially right now. Uh, so that's an advantage there. If you're reloading, the bullets are smaller on the 6.5 Grendel. So typically when you buy bullets, if you buy the exact same bullet, the heavier bullets will cost more. The larger bullets will cost more per bullet because there's more material. So the 6.5 Grendel is going to have an advantage in cheaper primers and cheaper bullets. Brass is a little bit harder to find, but you know. So that are, those are the three that I have narrowed down to when it comes to rifle cartridges. And if I'm having to pick right now, I'm going to choose the 6.5 Grendel. And there's a couple reasons. One, like I just said, I like the bullet selections and stuff when it comes to reloading. I like reloading 6.5 Grendel. I can, sh I can develop really, really accurate loads with 6.5 Grendel. It's a cartridge that just lends itself to accuracy, and I like that as well. Uh, and another one of the reasons is that I can put it in an AR-15 platform which is lighter than an AR-10 platform. And I don't have to have the big curved mags like the 7.62 by 3.9 does, the, you know, the funky looking ones for an AR-15. But it's, it's really probably closer for me between the 7.62 and 3.9 and 6.5 Grendel. But one disadvantage of the 7.62 by 3.9 as well is that it takes the 310 bullets. So your bullet selection is a lot narrower between 6.5 Grendel and 7.62 by 3.9. So from a reloading standpoint there, definitely go into the 6.5 Grendel. 
I mean, there are options in 310 for sure, 310 diameter bullets. There are options, and they're good options. They make the gold dot and SST and stuff. You know, there's good bullets available, but that's it. You know, you're, you're, what you got's what you got. Where when it comes to a .264 diameter bullet, there's all kinds of options, about anything you can think of. Cheap stuff, good stuff, copper stuff, it don't matter, it's, it's out there. So that's a couple reasons there. Now, I know, like if we're talking end of the world scenario type thing, I'm probably not gonna find very much 6.5 Grendel just laying around that people have. I understand that, but you know, that's why I reload guys, so I don't have to worry about anybody else's ammo. And if I only had one cartridge to worry about stocking up, trust me, I'm not gonna need anybody else's ammo. I'm gonna have plenty. If all of my financial resources, oh, that was stupid. If all of my financial resources are going into stocking up one rifle cartridge only, I'm gonna have plenty. So there we go. Right now, I'm going to have a 6.5 Grendel if that's all that I can have. So handgun cartridge. I go back and forth on this one too. Everybody knows I'm a 10 millimeter fan. So obviously 10 millimeter is going to be one of the huge players here. And then the other one's nine millimeter. I mean, how, what am I gonna do with my handgun? Mostly gonna be self-defense. Otherwise, it's gonna, I'm gonna use a rifle. So self-defense, anti-personnel. I'm not gonna be worrying about woods defense with my handgun because if I only have one of each, I'm going to take the rifle in the woods with me if that's what I'm worried about. But, I'm you know, 9 millimeters just, it's, it's cheap, it's plentiful, it's easy to reload for, there's all kinds of it, and you're going to get a lot of capacity in the handgun that you choose. And you can shoot it a much faster, follow-up shot-wise, than 10 millimeter. And I shoot a lot of 10 millimeter. I can handle 10 millimeter quite well. I have a video where I, I think I put, I don't remember how many shots on target, but it was like uh, four shots, four different targets. And it was like right at two seconds or something. So I feel like I handle the 10 millimeter well, but regardless, I can handle the nine millimeter better. It's faster to follow up shots with. And I'm probably gonna go nine millimeter. So I'm just gonna leave it there. We're up to eight minutes already on this video and I'm just gonna say nine millimeter. So that's my two. Nine millimeter for handgun, 6.5 Grendel for rifle. Let me know below what you would choose. One rifle, one handgun. Cause when it comes to shotgun, we're all choosing 12 gauge. So anyways, that's what I got for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Until next time guys, stay tuned.